Hello. Hello everybody. Um, I wanted to give you a small uh, demonstration and tutorial uh, on this add-on to transfer shape keys between geometries. So a quick test uh, with a simple sphere. This is a sphere with a texture and the UV map is normally created automatically. It's a UV sphere and here next to it you have another UV sphere created with different tessellation, different rings and divisions. So the source sphere has some blank shapes, some tests I made myself to elevate North Pole, to elevate the water, very trivial stuff. Um, the destination has no shape keys and everything is applied, rotation and scale, everything. And there are no modifiers. This is the geometry. If you watch at the UV map, they are, I will say, compatible. Um, the first sphere has the use this UV tessellation, coarse grained. Um, the second, the target destination sphere has more quadrangles, more polygons because there is a higher tessellation. Um, so when you want to transfer a shape key from a source to a target, from a source to destination, you select the object, it works in object mode, you select the object, you select the shape key that you want to transfer and then you shift click on the destination and you invoke the operator by searching for transfer shape key via UV and in a moment you have on the destination object shape key that is similar as much as possible to the origin. Um, can make a test with another one, for example, only elevating Europe. So object shape key, shift click, search and apply again. And on the destination you have this other shape key, which is an elevation for the European territory as it was here. Okay, this is a trivial case. Now I show you something a bit more complex. So these are two heads. These models come from the, is a flame model, is a research prototype of a head with many, many shape keys, more than 300. Some of them are to define the shape of the head and some to the drive the expression of the of the head or the face. And actually they are uh, so many because they have been automatically computed. Uh, there is a software which uses the flame model. The software is called Imoca, is another research prototype, which is able to analyze a video and produce um, 3D models that can be animated using um, shape key uh, animation in time. Uh, the Imoca model is able, for example, to extract this geometry, is a highly detailed geometry of the face. <clears throat> but unfortunately, this is a geometry created uh, frame by frame and there are no shape keys for animation. While this is the flame model, the standard flame model created through the Blender plugin and containing all the values um, of the shape keys. Um, this is a shape key, an extra key that we created to bring the face, applying the, the, the pose. And these are essentially the same face taken from the same video. The point is, if you want to animate this second head, you have to transfer all the shape keys that are named expression. Uh, I make a test, I select the source. So these are the expression in the default model. They range from minus three to three. Shift, click, and search. Apply the operator. Now, if I go to the destination, 
I see the shape key, which is bringing the face to closing, from closing to opening the mouth, which is actually exactly what you see here. And this would allow you to write a small script with a for loop uh, cycling through all the shape keys and automatically transfer uh, the original shape keys into the, the destination.